Well, if I could, if I could, let me respectfully respond as much as I can. First of all, I want you to understand something. I've been here, this is my 14th session, and I've never been accused of being weak on anything. Um, and weak on crime. You know, we, we went through people castigating other people for being weak on crime. Ms. Carter. And what we found out was that what it did more than anything is invited us to be stupid on taxpayers. Now, maybe that doesn't make any difference to you and your constituents, but I can tell you it makes a difference to me and mine. Because while you suggest that somehow or another this is being weak on crime, I think this is actually being smarter than where we are. So, members of the committee, I ask you today, in light of the fact that in 1972, the Senate interim study reported that there was no logical justification for putting people in behind bars for marijuana, what's changed? Why are we still doing it? Good. A cold heart. If you really do believe that everybody that uses marijuana belongs in jail or penalized. I would like to speak out today for all of those who have been arrested and who are in jail for the non-violent crime of possessing or using marijuana. I think that we can use our dollars in a much more effective way. Is it economically feasible for us to continue down this road that we're on? Or should we take the common sense approach? House Bill 548 could potentially save Texas taxpayers more than $500 million in a single year. The first step in the right direction, and I hope that you all will be leaders in that. In almost 10 years that I've been practicing criminal law here in Travis County and throughout Central Texas, I've seen countless people's livelihoods and features threatened and sometimes ruined for arrest for possession of a personal amount of marijuana. We're shipping inmates to Louisiana because we don't have room for them here at the cost of millions of dollars a year. House Bill 548 would help reduce the overcrowding in these days of fiscal crisis. I understand how important it is for us to stay, you know, keep our kids safe from frivolous prosecution. What I'm trying to get across to these representatives this year especially is if they want to be smart on this budget deficit, if they want to be smart with the fiscal crisis that's going on in Texas right now, instead of cutting school budgets, instead of firing teachers and cutting social services for people that need them the most, perhaps we could save hundreds of billions, hundreds of millions of dollars by not arresting people for a nonviolent minor offense like possession of marijuana.